had so much fun cooking last week that we thought we would do it again, right? Yeah. But, you know, we got to make things fair. So last week we had carrot soup, which was surprisingly good. After years of hearing my own talk about it, I finally had it. But this time, we're going to do something a little more my alley, and we're going to cook biscotti. Um, I'm super happy about this because it's from my girl. You love her. I love Ina. I love Ina. This is her recipe. Unlike you, I need to measure everything. Um, also makes a difference in cooking, though, don't you think? I feel like in baking, I mean, well, in baking. In cooking, you can kind of get away with yep. it a little more. But baking, you definitely need to do... Um, everything exact measurement or like who knows what's gonna what's gonna come up so let's do it huh let's get started before we start my mom i know you like surprises my mom said i love surprises and i love your mom <laughs> yeah. these are two of my favorite things right now you spent two weeks with my mom to get to know me better. i did i was like uh manon jr so she, she had a surprise she did for you she landed the poster of the movie I'm gonna cry, that's so sweet. Guys, this is our movie poster and our dog. He also really, I also said our dog, it's my own dog. Um, Puma's also super happy about the movie. Everybody's really excited. But this is so cool. We've been working on this film for what? Like three, four years now. Yep. Uh, if you didn't see last week, we talked about how we're doing my own story in the film. Um, we can also, wait, we should add it to our little corner over here. Absolutely. This is our like little Manon corner. I love it. So we have our children's book about Manon's incredible journey to the NHL coming out October 20th. So, you know, definitely check Amazon and Barnes and Noble and your bookstore for that. And then the film, which is in development. All kinds of exciting things. We should celebrate by eating cookies. <laughs> Okay, Mano, so you're gonna do the blending because I know Absolutely. you are not a big baker. So we have three eggs. I actually have two eggs and an egg yolk in there Perfect. for those who are really counting. And then we're gonna do, see, even right now, you know how many times I've made these cookies? And I still, like, I don't feel good if I you can't breathe. Like, I'm gonna just hold it here. I'm gonna feel better this way. Okay, Ina says put them in there. Oh, and the butter. So this is Earth Balance Butter. I've been lactose intolerant ever since I met my husband. It's a little suspect. And we found this butter that is the best substitute for butter that, we, that we've had, um, non-butter. So it's great. We use this, then we, it's dairy-free. That's a lot of butter. That, that is that not make a, recipe. a lot of butter. <laughs> that much butter. <laughs> oh my gosh, you should see my butter cream. It's... Okay, so we've got the butter. We're gonna put the butter and the brown sugar and granulated sugar, but I love to not use um, processed sugar. So that's sugar in the raw. Try to not have processed sugar as much as I can because I love sugar so much. And then our cinnamon. Oh, I should have had this ready for you, but I didn't. So give me the cinnamon. Be prepared. How much of this A teaspoon and a half of cinnamon. And then I'm gonna go back to reading. A teaspoon and a half of cinnamon, put that in there, and then we are going to blend it for three minutes until it's light and fluffy, which actually is super important because if it doesn't get light and fluffy, then that's how things tend to get um, like a little harder and a little drier. So go ahead and put that bad boy up. It's there going we go. Higher or it's good like this? You want well, me to let's leave it so it's not so loud and we can chat a little. Um, when I first met you, one of the things that I thought was so cool about her story, one of like a million things, was how different, I mean, there are all these little things that we don't think about with your story of like dressing rooms, locker rooms. <laughs> That's the actor in me, dressing room. Like, you don't think about the fact that you're the only female in these locker rooms. So what, like, what was that like? Did you have your own locker room? Did you? Yeah, I had my own locker room in every place that I play. Uh, when I was little, nobody really was changing. Like I was able to change with yeah. the boys. But as I get older, obviously, I had my own locker room. Uh, when I played pro, I had my own locker room. So it's kind of nice when I play with the national team, with the women's national right. team. Uh, because I was able to be around everyone yeah. in the locker room and get dressed. There's and so much happens in the locker room, right? Like there's there's so much team talk yes. and bonding. So basically, you're missing you missed out on a, a lot of that because you were coming in after, right? I was coming after maybe five minutes before games started in the locker room yeah. to hear the coach talk. But other than that, I had my own one. Do you think that 
affected your relationship or with your teammates? Not really. I think that was the right thing to do, obviously. I would have not changed in the locker room with the, the guys. Listen, um, it's not going to be that kind of movie, folks. <laughs> um, so I just, uh, that was one thing that I had to do. I knew that yeah. I had to do a, different things because I was only female there, but it works. It works. It works. It obviously works. Okay. Oh, you know what? We weren't supposed to add the eggs then. <laughs> We use both flour and almond meal. I don't know why. But I have made this once with all almond meal, so it is gluten free. Um, but I'm not sure why we do add the almond to that. So maybe, I don't know, if any anybody watching knows, send us a, a message and let us know why we do that. surprise up my sleeve for my all. Not quite as good as hers, it's just more of a funny one. So we're gonna roll this really good flour on your hands and then we're gonna break it into two logs. And then, go ahead, you can do that one. We're gonna make it into 11 inches by two inches. See how I'm doing that oh there? Oh my gosh, it's too much measuring. Look what I got. Mama! I even right measure now? with my my little handy dandy measuring stick here. So uh, this is how crazy I am. I want to make sure it's actually 11 inches because if you go over, then it's not going to taste the same. It might get dried out. See, I'm not quite at 11 inches. This is why we measure things, guys. And then we're going to put it in the oven at 300. So you go ahead and put that right in the oven. And then I'm going to tell you. what it looks like. Looks nice. Can you see it? Looks really good. Okay, put it in an oven. Oh wait, no, don't put it in an oven. I forgot something. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't read it. You okay. know what is amazing? She reads the direction and, and I she still, forget And things. I still forget. Um, a brush. Yes, you saw I almost was gonna do that with my hand. This is it. Okay, you brush those on the outside and I'm gonna get a little more turbinado sugar and you sprinkle this on top of it. Okay, get it, get this side to make, oh man, get enough on there so that this stays. It's egg white, it's healthy. Okay, yes, because the sugar on top gets a little crystallized and it's super yummy. I'm gonna put a little more here. Okay, now we are ready. Put that in the oven for 45 minutes. Sugar. Sweet. And then we will sit here and wait. It's worth the wait though, folks. Worth the wait. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, I thought I scored. Oh! I scored. You know what? It's the dream of every goalie to score a goal. So really? It just made my dream come true. You're welcome. That's what I do. I'm a dream maker. <laughs> Forty-five minutes. We had to let it rest for thirty minutes to cool down, and then, as you see, I've cut it into little fingers. They almost look like uh, forty-five degree angle, about a quarter to half inch thick. It's actually supposed to be a quarter, but again, I can't not measure, and my mom won't let me use a measuring tape for this. So some of those are probably a quarter, some are probably a half. Who knows what they are? But I'm going to finish cutting this one while I do that. What I want you to do is put that egg white. Brush it all over them and then sprinkle them with some sugar. 
Okay, okay, how's that looking? Hey, hey, why go some sugar on that, man? That's enough sugar. You, you like so much in there already. <laughs> My board is going crazy because I'm just looking at how little sugar that is. Um, all right, well. That's how we're different. Those are, yes, <laughs> yes. We have a lot of similarities. We're like the same person in a lot of ways, except I hate to shop. You love, love to, to shop. shop. And um, you hate sugar. Okay, now that those are ready, those looking good? Yep. Okay, we're gonna put those back in the oven. Now our oven's at 275. Puma, don't eat the cookies. We're gonna put them in for another 45 minutes. And when they come out, this time, they're gonna be ready to eat and we're gonna have some coffee with it. We've got some good coffee she's making. Absolutely. Yeah, love I actually it. hate coffee. That's another way we're different. I know, I love coffee. Oh my gosh, it's crazy, I'm out of here. Puma, you want me to read you a story? It's a good one. It's about your mom. It's called Breaking the Ice. Sneak peek. It doesn't come out till October. Manon was five years old when she laced up her... Seriously? sugar <laughs> but we put them in there for another 45 minutes and we flipped them once and now they're ready to go but you cannot eat biscotti without coffee coffee and you know strong, what strong dark coffee yum um <laughs> anyway you know what i found i don't I know if you know them. this but i found a vegas and a florida cup both places where you played so you played in tampa with the nhl and you played in vegas with their minor league yep that's pretty cool so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the Tampa one. It always it smells so good, but then you taste it. Ugh. No, that's it. So how you do this? Okay, this is so much better. So we're just gonna dunk. This is the only good part about coffee. Dunking it. Oh my goodness! Mm. This makes a bad day better. This is what I like when things are going bad. But you know what I did? I put some tea in here for me. <laughs> so I'm gonna drink my tea and dump my uh, dump this my This is finger. so good. Do you like them? I love it because when you put it in the coffee, it gets soft and mm -hmm. it's really, really good. But not too soft and mm -hmm. not too crunchy. This is why I love Ina's recipe because sometimes you get biscotti out and you crunch into them and they crumble. That should not happen, mm -hmm. but not with these. It's really good. Hey, that was, uh, that was good teamwork. Do you really like them or are you just saying that? I like them, but As you, you know what I'm thinking? I mean, I'm not taking the sugar out of it. No, but it had a lot of butter too, so I may have to go run two miles to just burn that up. Dude. Because I don't eat that stuff. Usually. That was a stick and a half of butter. That's a lot. Oh, uh, not a lot of butter. You ever seen Paula Dean? I mean, she does too much butter. <laughs> she puts like four sticks of butter and things. No, I just... Uh, it's really good, but not ah, guilty. Ah, I thought this was my tea. That's coffee.